Hey, what's up guys? Growing the Hobby coming back to you guys with another baseball break, guys. A subscription box, a new subscription box today, guys. Today we're going to be previewing slash reviewing the brand new Grand Slam card club. That's right, I'm going to set this bad boy right here. James, the owner, reached out to me. This is a newer company. Uh, he asked if I would be willing to do a box break here on the channel, do a nice little review for them. I was uh, absolutely humbled and thrilled to do this for them. Um, I did pay for the box. I will let you guys know this is not like a free or comp box or anything like that. So hopefully there's no preferential treatment. Um, and I encourage you guys to check this out on your own, obviously, to uh, see for the comparisons and stuff like that. But uh, basically, guys, in a nutshell, this is a subscription box. It's a new one. They have um, a website as well as Instagram, Facebook, different types of social media and stuff like that. Uh, that are out there. I will put all of that stuff in the description below for you guys to check out on your own. Um, they do all kinds of tiers here. So this is, you know, it, it's not kind of, you have to buy a hundred dollar box or nothing, you know, or, or something like that, like a lot of the boxes do. So no, they have all kinds of tiers. Um, they go as low as $23 a month uh, for a, a baseball subscription box. Um, but they can go all the way up to what we have here today. This box that we're going to do today, I figured I'd just go for the top because um, I kind of have expensive taste sometimes, uh, for better or worse. Uh, this is the All-Star Box Premium Level. So that is going to bring, bring us 12 to 15 packs per month, which is what should be in here today. Uh, this has a cost of $135 uh, per month. And again, guys, this this is the top level that they have currently. Uh, and again, you can go as low as $23 a month. Plus, there's a lot of levels in between and stuff like that. You can kind of tweak it however you'd like. Um, uh, but yeah, guys, we're going to be previewing this and see what we get. I really don't know what to expect out of here other than 12 to 15 packs. Again, it's a recurrent subscription uh, service. You can cancel at any point and stuff like that. Um, I'll let you guys just check out the website for yourself. It looks pretty good, though, from everything I've seen. Um, and again, the owner, James, seems to be very, you know, very nice and definitely will work with you and stuff like that. Very good at communication and things. Um, and he's already told me that next month uh, they're going to be adding Topps Finest to this. So that's something to look forward to for the next month. And real quick before we get into this actual break, guys, you can see in the background, on the left I have the, the name of the um, company, the Grand Slam Card Club. However, on the right, you guys can see that is a promo code for 5% off for you guys. That's right, for all you guys right there. That is G-R-O-W-I-N and, and the number one, growing one. That is unique to this channel, guys. That is your discount promo code that you can use for 5% off of your first order. Um, if you guys want to check this out, and again, the, the levels go as low as $23, so you're already looking at, you know, maybe 20 bucks if you got the lowest level. Probably worth giving it a shot. I mean, I know I probably would do that just, uh, just to see if I liked it. But here, guys, uh, let's just get into this. First off, I will tell you, I do like the presentation of this box. It's not a plain Jane box. Very, very nice design in the box. That's always a nice eye appeal thing for me. Um, probably in my top three, I'd say right off the top of my head, along with, you know, like the ninth inning crates and uh, the big bat box club. I do like those designs, but this is a very, very nice design. It's not just a plain white thing with a little stamp or something like that in the middle. This is how it comes in the mail. I'll turn it over. You guys can see it. They put your address and stuff like that on the back. There's a little bit of the advertisement uh, for their website and stuff like that. You guys can see each end of the box. And basically, it's just sealed up right here. And so we're going to cut into this. Uh, it looks pretty easy to get into. Give out one cut there. And again, guys, we're expecting 12 to 15 packs. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure if you get like a one touch in here. I'm not sure if they give you literature. I'm not sure if they do like golden tickets, things like that. It's a very new service, so uh, let's just see what we get, guys. And let's see if the bang is worth the buck. I will be very honest, good or bad, uh, because it's just how I am. I want to give you guys, you know, an adequate uh, kind of critique. So we do have some literature on top here. Uh, so you guys can see this uh, September 2020 box. Big thank you to everybody that joined our grand opening this month, which is, you know, this first box is a grand opening. As a thank you, cards from my personal collection will be included in this box, as well as two vintage packs. So that's pretty cool. Uh, share any of your videos and hits and stuff like that on their Facebook or Instagram. They will choose two lucky winners for a special gift at the end of this month. So that is pretty cool. And then here below is the social media uh, info, as well as an email address if you guys need to reach out to them. Looks pretty good, very nice and legit. I like I like everything I'm seeing so far uh, with this. It's pretty cool. 
So we'll set that there and let's see what packs we get, guys. I'm just going to bring all these packs out at once. Not sure about hobby retail and stuff like that. I'm not really sure how this stuff goes. As far as the breakdown, again, I had no idea what packs to even expect. And there we go. We'll pull all that out. Set that aside here and let's just see what we got. So we got some, these are hobbies here, right off the bat. We got a couple of the 2020 Chrome hobby packs. So we got a 2019 Donruss Optic. Uh, we got two packs of 2020 Panini Prism. There's a nice throwback. I believe that's the uh, 89 Donruss. Should be, uh, from what I can see there and stuff like that. That'll be pretty cool. Nice little vintage pack there, I'm going to assume. Middle stack has 2020 Bum, and these are hobbies. Again, so that's good. Two hobby packs there. Nice. 2016 Topps uh, Holiday Box. 2019 Series 1 hobby pack. 2020 Series 2 hobby. Final stack here on the right. We got uh, 2018 Fire. Uh, we got one, two of those. That is a Target exclusive. 2014 Bum and Draft. Seems to be the staple of most of uh, the kind of subscription box services anymore and 2018 boom and platinum that's a good year uh, we got 2020 diamond kings looks like we got another pack here of the 89s we'll set that down there and then here's the cards we'll just get into the cards from the uh, i guess from james's pc collection here looks like a couple of them in this little team bag let's pull these right out you got see we got a whip merrifield that'll be from the Topps Holiday Walmart uh, collection there. If it looks like 2019, uh, off the top of my head, yes, it is 2019. 2019 Whit Merrifield, the relic card. Nice little future stars, Gary Sheffield. There you go. Oh, and look behind that, what we have there. We'll check that out in one second. I'm going to show you the back of this. There you go. There you go. Fernando Tatis Jr., the man that has personally blown up the entire sport right now. and. Um, just blowing up the card prices and stuff like that. I actually do not have this. And look, that is serial numbered. 166 of 299. That is pretty cool. You guys can see that is from 2020 uh, tops. I definitely do not have this card. Um, quite honestly, I'm not exactly sure uh, the subset or anything like that. But uh, Oppo Boppo is <laughs> what we have written there. But that's pretty cool. I will take a Tatis junior any day of the week guys um let's see how many packs we have really quickly so five in that stack there six uh that makes 11 and then another six packs so 17 packs um so that's pretty cool so we got the max 15 packs plus the two vintage ones so 17 packs not too bad uh it's my first impression not too bad um would have liked to seen maybe if i had to personally tweak something it's always nice to get a jumbo pack of something in here um, whether it's a 2020 Topps Jumbo or a Bowman Jumbo or a Series 1 or Series 2 Jumbo. Those are always nice to at least get one Jumbo. Um, but that's not to say these packs aren't awesome because they are pretty good. Let's start with the vintage stuff first. Let's see what we can get out of here. See how bad the stickage is with the cards. Ugh. Let's see if we can get some luck. Uh, we got our standard puzzle pieces there. We're looking for the Ken Griffey Jr. guys, if you didn't know that. Um, basically the same card stock right there, that rated rookie. So we got Tom Gordon, Freddy's, Todd Burns, DeJesus, Tim Leary, Nolans, Wes Gardner, Eric King, Juan Castillo, Oswald Peraza, Checklist, Willie McGee, Jamie Moyer, and Bobby Bow. Bobby Bow, best one in that one, at least for my money. Take me a Bobby Bow any day of the week. Let's do our second pack of that vintage. 89 and then we'll get into the modern day stuff here there's our puzzle pieces not really worth even checking out there and we got a kevin brown terry clark the checklist again on taveros uh, ernie witt dave clark ricky horton dennis lamp uh, dale mahorick uh ricky jordan jack savage Boddicker, lance johnson diamond kings kirk gibson and lloyd mcclendon former manager of the buckos as well so there you go. Nothing insane in that. Nothing of high value, but that's all right. It's a fun rip to rip anything vintage. Uh, let's see what I'm going to do. I'm going to do Bowman towards the end. Same with the Chrome, the Prism, most of the stack towards the end. Let's do let's do our one and only Diamond Kings pack here from 2020. Get that out of the way. Let's see if we have any luck here. And... 
here we go. So, Don DiMaggio, uh, Tyrone Taylor, that's a rookie. Joe Jackson, with his shoes on. <laughs> Burt by 11. Abraham Toro, rookie. Clayton Kershaw. Then we got upside down Al Kaling. Okay, uh, the 3000. It's a different one. And a Garrett Cole, uh, or I'm sorry, Garrett Cole, George Brett, Diamond Kings all time there. I don't think any of these are uh, numbered. I believe the numbering's on the front of these cards if they're going to be numbered. So there you go. If you guys catch anything uh, that's like a parallel or anything like that, or maybe anything I missed, please let me know in the description below. I check these myself after, but I always appreciate any help I can get. Let's do the 19 Series 1. Uh, Jeff McNeil's probably our best chance in here. Actually, it looks like we've got a relic hit, believe it or not. What's the odds of that? That is pretty wild because I believe there's only one of those uh, per box. So that's that's a pretty good hit. Um, but let's see what we got. So Chris Bryant, Billy Hamilton, Cole Stewart, rookie. Yankees team card, Blue Jays team card, Charlie Morton. Uh, what have we here? Joe Maurer, nice. Game use Joe Maurer. That is pretty cool, guys. And that uh, that, is, that is neat. And that is in the 84 design, the 35th throwback there. Joe Maurer, a game use card. You guys can check out the back of that. So that, that'll be a, a box hit for sure. That's pretty cool. J.P. Crawford, J.D. Martinez, Eric Hosmer, uh, Ryan Healy, and Shane Green finish us out in that pack. So not a bad start. We've got a hit already. Pretty cool. I'll actually set that aside. I'll actually throw that up here for right now because that'll be our hit of the box unless it's unseated. Uh, what are we going to do? Let's do the Bowman 2014. 2015 is the year that's just horrible to try to read the names on. So 2014 is not bad. I don't mind doing that. Nice Raul Mondesi to start us off. First Bowman, Trey Turner. That's pretty good. Trey Turner. That's paper. Then we got a Cody Reed Chrome, first Bowman. Behind that, uh, with Justin Williams for the uh, the D-backs. Is that Bowman Scouts uh, Breakouts? That's what it is. Uh, no numbering, if you guys were wondering. Mark Appel Chrome behind that. And then back to paper to finish us off. Kevin uh, Padlow, first Bowman. And a Kyle Freeland. So not, not a bad pack. Not a bad pack. Better than what I normally get out of the 2014 Bowman. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do next? Let's do the 2016 Holiday Box. I think this might be the only 2016 holiday I've ever opened, perhaps. Um, see if we get a little luck. There's a nice Kenta Maeda rookie card right there. Really throwing that bomb. Look at that look on his face. He is he is serious. Mookie Betts. Uh, Aladamis Alad Diaz. I don't know why that name throws me. Joe Maurer. Uh, Denard Spann. Corey Seager, and that is going to be, I think that's a little shimmer. Yeah, a little bit of shimmer. It's tough to see. That's a nice one, though. Corey Seager, rookie, and that is like kind of one of the parallels. I think they just call that like the shimmer or something like that. There you go. See a little bit on the card. Um, it's not a short print or anything like that, but it is like the shimmer. That's, that's pretty nice. Uh, Josh Reddick, Garrett Cole. We got a Wade Davis, and we finish with a Bryce Harper. So that was actually not a bad pack either. Nice Corey Seager rookie there. So let's do let's do fire. It's just sitting here. 2018 fire. Let's open a little bit of this stuff from 2018. Um, nothing huge though so far. Arcia, Page, Hermeyer, Anthony Rizzo, Justin Upton, and Perez. And I don't think any of those are numbered. Nope, no numbering there. Let's do the other pack of that. Let's see what we get. Hopefully, something in here. Victor Robles, that's a decent rookie. Starts us off. Go fired up. Clayton Kershaw, that's not bad. Uh, Miggy, uh, Ozzy Albies, rookie. I almost flew right by that. That's not bad. And Joey Votto. So let's see if any of those are numbered. I don't think they are. Uh, no, but still, not, not bad rookies there. A couple of decent rookies. Let's do the uh, Bowman Platinum for 2018 since we're right there still. We'll get into finishing this up. Okay, let's see. We got uh, Eric Thames. Uh, Justin Smoke. Whoa. That really threw me, guys. When I saw a backwards card 
and uh, the name Mike Trout on there. I thought it was a Mike Trout Auto, and I was going to lose my mind. <laughs> but it is a Platinum Presence Profile Mike Trout. That is still a good card, guys, for sure. That really threw me, though. I thought we had an auto of Mike Trout, and I was, was going to lose it. That is a cool card, though. Uh, Mackenzie Mills and Casey Clemens. So there you go. The Mike Trout obviously is the best card in that pack. Let's set the chrome aside. Let's do the Optic 2019 Optic. We've got one pack of this. I am enjoying this break. You get a decent amount of packs uh, for your money. You know, you're paying a little less than $10 a pack, so it's really not bad, um, quite honestly. Nelly Cruz starts us off here. He's a little bit stuck to the card behind him, which is Anthony Rizzo. Hey, there we go, boys. <laughs> All right. Fernando Tatis Jr., the rookies. That is a rookie card of the man himself. There you go, guys. No numbering or anything like that, but who the heck cares? That's a good card. Um, centering's not that bad on there either. Uh, not too bad. It really isn't. I'll have to take a closer look at this after, but that is a good card for sure. We will sleeve that up, and we got a Justice Sheffield rated rookie right behind it. So not bad. Very uh, surprisingly good pack that was. Let's do the Panini Prism 2020. We got two of these packs. Let's see what we can get here. And hope for something. Nice Keston here. That'll be a second year card. Marcus Stroman. We got a blue. Ooh, and this is a rookie. Rookie parallel. And it is of. Sheldon Noisy. Nice. Sheldon Noisy. That's a decent one, guys. And. That is out of 199, so not a bad hit, guys. Not a bad hit whatsoever. We've got a Max Muncy behind that and a Carlos Santana finish us off there. So not too bad at all. Um, liking what we're seeing so far here. Let's do another prism pack. So we've got a Vladdy here. It's going to finish us off in this pack. All right, Jack Flaherty. I've got another blue. John Means. Yeah, we do have another blue. Uh, let's see if it's upside down. And it is. Kyle Lewis. Holy smokes. Wow. Kyle Lewis, guys, out of 199 again. What a rookie pool. Wow. That is a good, good card, guys. We're going to unseat the Joe Maurer, unfortunately. I almost did it for the Tatis and the Noisy, but... Uh, Kyle Lewis gets center stage now. Wow. We're getting some good rookies uh, out of this stuff, guys. Josh Hader. And there's that Vladdy second-year card. Wow. Uh, very, very nice. Very nice stuff. Uh, let's do the 2020 Series 2. Look for that Lou Rowe. We only got one pack of this, but let's see what we can get in here. You know, get an SP or a gold or something like that. Dustin Pedroia. No more Mazzara. Uh, Matt Beatty. Uh, Jonathan Daza, rookie. Josh Reddick. Malononado. Jake Cave, upside down, as Tops likes to do to us. Manny Margot. Uh, Conley. Dobnak. Mitch Keller. Glaber Day, and the 35th anniversary there to the 85 design. And behind that, we got a Jason Hayward and a Dom. Nunez rookie. So I don't think anything insane there. Uh, maybe there was an SP that I missed. We'll have to check that out after. Let's do these are great packs that we're left with. Let's do the Bowman first and we'll finish with the Chrome. Let's see if we get lucky enough to get uh, the box hit here. Every box has 24 packs and uh, you get one auto per box. So we have roughly a 1 in 12 shot here based on two packs. Alex Young, Nick Salak, and Nice. Rookie of the Year favorites, Bo Bichette rookie. That's a good one. That is a chrome. Rookie of the Year favorites, Bo Bichette. That is a good one. We'll set that aside. Sixto Sanchez, Joe Ryan, Shane Baz. And back to chrome, we got a Royce Lewis, followed by Ryan Mountcastle. Finished with the paper, Ramon Laureano and Mike Yastrzemski. So not a bad pack there. Getting a Bo Bichette rookie out of that one. Let's do pack number two. See what we get here. I don't see any different cards stuck again, but that doesn't mean anything. Mauricio Dubon, rookie. 
uh, Michael Byers rookie, and we got a talent pipeline. Uh, for my money, I'm taking the Brett Batty uh, as far as the best player on that card. Adam Hall, Christian Pache, Joey Bart, Chrome Alex Bohm, uh, Daz Cameron Chrome, and back to the paper for Willie Adamas and Chris Bryant. So not too shabby there. Let's finish with these two Chrome packs. Both are hobbies. Only four cards in here. Uh, it'll take a little bit of luck to get an auto, but that would be cool. I'd take a parallel, too, or one of the big rookies. Quite a few of them in here. Adalberto Mondesi starts us off. Behind that, we got a Dansby Swanson. Chris Paddock, Future Stars, and we finish with an Archie Bradley. All right, guys, last uh, pack here. Fun little break. I hope you guys enjoy it. I definitely will be going back and trying uh, some more luck here with the Grand Slam Card Club. Alex Young, Manny Machado. We got one of those uh, Decades cards there. Nice one, Nolan Ryan. There for your 80 strikeout percentage. That's a die cut. And A. Eugenio Suarez finishes us off for this break, guys. So, honestly, there was a lot of good rookie pulls. It's kind of like the, the rated rookie box. Um, you know, just this was mainly about rookies today, guys. As far as actual hits goes, it was like, you know, relics and autos. The only relic slash auto we could have got was the Joe Maurer uh, relic card. That would have been a box hit, though. So, that's pretty cool. We did get a lot of parallel cards. Well, not a ton, but we got a few. We got a lot of decent rookie cards. Uh, the one I'm going to leave center stage was that Kyle Lewis uh, out of 199 there from Prism. So not too bad, guys, uh, overall. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, uh, please. And as far as the actual Grand Slam Card Club, again, held up very well during shipping. I like the presentation. The box design was awesome. If I had to give any pointers at all, it would be to possibly, I don't know, add a jumbo or fat pack in as one of the packs per month because those are always a fun rip. Um... And then other than that, maybe add a little bit more literature as far as um, the packs that month, you know, maybe what the odds are of pulling a hit or something like that. But I know it's a little bit more work, but a lot of people do appreciate that um, because that way they can know what uh, kind of cards to look for and stuff or what their odds are. But overall, very good presentation from the Grand Slam Card Club. I do like the box. Um, it's a product I definitely will be featuring here again. Uh, I enjoyed it. Please, again, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if you guys are purchasing this or interested in it. And if you guys give it a shot, please let me know in the comments below what you guys pulled out of your boxes as well, because I am curious to see what packs you guys got and what hits you guys got. Um, and again, the promo code, I will put it in the description below, but it is right there in front of your face. The GROWIN1, G-R-O-W-I-N-1, the number one. That's going to get you 5% off your first order um, from the Grand Slam Card Club. Uh, dot com and you guys can check that out like i said as low as 23 dollars per month but other than that guys uh please leave like subscribe share click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos lots more of them coming to you guys uh especially baseball wise you guys know that's one of my favorite sports i like to break a lot on here as well as these sub boxes um but yeah guys please have a great day a great night wherever you guys are at and we will see you guys next time